on that point, if we discover life on Europa and you were brought in, you seem very excited, but uh, how would you start looking at that life in a way that's useful to you as a scientist, but also not going to kill all of us? <laughs> so like, the, to me, it's a little bit scary because not not because it's a malevolent life, like it's a it's a dictator petting like a cat, it's evil, but just the way life is, it seems to be very good at conquering other life. So there's a lot of science fiction movies based on that principle. Yeah. And uh, that's sort of what causes the public to be so scared. But if you think about sort of, would Europa life be scared of humans coming over and taking over? Chances are no, not even like Earth bacteria, because Earth bacteria would be wiped out in an instant in this foreign world, because they don't know how to metabolize energy that doesn't come from the types of energy sources that are here. The levels of acidity may just kill us all off. And at the same way, in, this, in, in the converse way, if you bring life from Europa on Earth, it'll die instantly because it's too hot. <laughs> or because it doesn't need to know how to cope with, I don't know, the sun's radiation so close to this completely inhabitable zone by their standards. <laughs> so, so what we so, call the habitable zone might actually be the inhabitable zone. Inhabitable for them. for them. So the difference, if the environments are sufficiently different, you think we'll just not be able to even attack each other and, and a basic... Uh, It'll take massive biology. amounts of engineering to create machines that will go there and sample the you know oceans, basically drill through the layers of ice to basically sample and see what life is like there and detecting it will probably be trivial. It definitely won't be DNA based. It's not like we're gonna send a sequencer, but it'll be you know some other kind of combination of chemicals that will look non-random. So if you had to bet, if I took that life form we find in uh, Europa and like put it on a sandwich that you're eating and like eat that sandwich. It'll taste just fine. It'll, and you'll be, well, I that, <laughs> know about that. I don't know, and actually, will it you. taste fine? That's interesting. So though, the, but, the other question is, do we have taste receptors for do, this? Do, do you so where, where does our taste come from? <laughs> well, it's the basically chemistry. adaptations to chemical molecules that we are used to seeing. So you think we don't have taste buds for things like, we don't even know about. Wow. So we won't, yeah, we won't be able to know that this chemical tastes funny. But you think it won't be, it's likely not to be dangerous. Like it, it won't know how to even interact. Do you think our immune system will will even detect that something weird is, is Probably. going on? Probably. <laughs> and it'll be very easy to detect because it'll be, it'll be very different from Very us. weird. But it won't be able to sort of attack. I mean, the scene from, I don't know, Independence Day, where like they're communicating with the alien computer and they're like, ooh, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious because yeah. like Macs and PCs have trouble communicating. <laughs> <laughs> I funny. mean, let alone an alien technology or even alien DNA. 